Storm family, so the big kids are stressing about China because everybody's slowly but surely waking up to whoops while we were doing all this crazy stuff with gender equality and all sorts of other rubbish. China's been preparing for war full on and now everyone's playing catch up. Is China massing forces at coastal military bases in preparation for an invasion of Taiwan? Yes, they are. China's continuously massing forces at the coastal military bases facing Taiwan. Taiwan said it's bolstering its own defenses in response, and the island's defense ministry issued a report on the expansion of Chinese airfields and military activity on Taiwan's doorstep, saying China is now probing Taiwan's territory on a daily basis. This year, the Chinese Communist Party has aggressively expanded armaments and built various types of fighter jets and drones, Major General Wang Wenqi said. The information we have received is that all important military bases along the coast are being continually updated and prepared. Ten Chinese naval vessels and 68 aircraft were detected near the nation, between 6 a.m. on Wednesday and 6 a.m. yesterday, the Ministry of Defense. The PLA's latest air and sea drills near Taiwan could signal a surprise attack strategy, according to analysts. Taipei is tracking 143 warplanes and 56 warships, entering their defense zone over four days as part of Beijing's island encirclement patrol. Military expert says that intensifying pressure from mainland China could be forms of cognitive warfare to make Taiwanese people drop their guard. So continually probe the defenses, continually run around them and around them and have air defense going over the median line the whole time and testing and probing their response times and everything besides wasting their fuel, which is expensive. Eventually, they're hoping Taiwan's going to go, eh, it's just another drill, and boom, it's not. They're actually going all the way. And that's actually quite clever. It is a nice tactic. And from what I'm seeing, I don't see them taking Taiwan five or six years from now, like some of the American experts are saying. I see them taking it the minute the rapture takes place. He's ready to go. He needs a victory and a big win at home. And he can whack this thing down really fast. He's prepping all of his bases along the coast. He's got his navy running everywhere and he's upgrading everything. You think he's doing that for four to five years from now? He's doing that for an imminent attack. And at the same time, he's talking to his allies, North Korea and Russia and those guys, Iran, and they are prepping a strategy for what to do with America, Australia, the UK, Japan, South Korea and other allies that might think they might want to get involved in this brawl when it goes down. So there's a lot of thinking behind it. There's a lot of planning behind it. I honestly think it's going to kick off the minute we leave, when the restrainer is removed. Pray for the people of Taiwan. Pray for the people of China. Pray that more and more people meet Jesus Christ and turn their lives over to him while there's time. God bless. Have a great day. Shalom.